What's on the screen right now is what's called a brain map. Now a brain map uh, can be very complicated to interpret, but we felt like uh, the presentation needed to include some of the data on the electrical model. So what a brain map does is it measures the electrical activity in the brain. You remember earlier the areas are beta, delta, theta, alpha. So this map is actually going to interpret that activity. The easiest way to look at a brain map to determine what it's telling us is how much color is there on it. You'll notice on the left map, the pre-map, especially the top two rows, there is a lot of color. The green and the blue is demonstrating the areas of the brain that are functioning too slowly. The red and the yellow and the orange are demonstrating areas of the brain that are focused are that are uh, moving too rapidly. So one is moving too rapidly, one is moving too slow. In other words, it's out of balance. All right? This is a typical footprint of a brain suffering from anxiety. You'll notice that on the right side of the pre-map, there's a tremendous amount of red. That's simply demonstrating that the, that part of the brain is overactive. In other words, it is anxious. It's a busy brain. It's like sitting in the car in the parking lot with the car in neutral and your foot on the gas. A lot of energy being used, a lot going on, but you're not going anywhere. It's very similar to an anxious brain. The bottom three rows of that map are demonstrating the areas of the brain that are having difficulty communicating with themselves. The brain is always communicating with itself. It's always making decisions, billions of times every second. And these bottom three rows demonstrate every time you see a line, that means there's a problem. So let's move to the right to the post map. As I said earlier, where there's color, there's a problem. When it's white, it's normal. Notice the difference between the pre and the post map. Those top two rows demonstrate after just 10 sessions of Nexlin without any other type of intervention, any other type of medical treatment. Five days the first week, five days the second week, this patient's anxiety was all but eliminated. You can see there's just a little bit of color left that needs to be addressed with either more Nexlin or possibly a diet change. And if you come down to the bottom three areas on the map, you'll see that a lot of the communication issues, what we call coherence, phase lag, and asymmetry, a lot of that is on its way to being resolved. The good news about the brain is that once the, proce once the process begins uh, normalizing and balancing, it will continue. The brain knows what it wants to do. We mentioned it earlier. All it wants to do is to be normal and to communicate effectively.